Good morning. What does it take to feed thousands? Let's look at Mark. We're looking at verses, chapter 6, verses 30 out to 44. And there's quite a bit going on there, so let me just set the place for you and we'll read part of it. Jesus took his disciples aside for a, a little bit of a spiritual uh, regrouping. But you know what? People found out where Jesus was and they just flocked to them. And they just came and came and came. And so there was a, a very large crowd, thousands of people present. We pick up the story here, verse 35. When the day was now far spent, his disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and already the hour is late. Send them away that they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy themselves bread, for they had nothing to eat. But he answered and said to them, You give them something to eat. And they said to him, Shall we go and buy 200 denarii worth of bread and, and give them something to eat? But he said to them, how many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they found out, they said, Five, and two fish. Then he commanded them to make them all sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in ranks, in hundreds and in fifties. And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven, blessed and broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples to set before them. And the two fish he divided among them all, and they all ate and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of fragments and of the fish. Now those who had eaten... The loaves were about 5,000 men. So actually, that's 5,000 men, and then how many women and children? Probably over 10,000 people uh, here at this event. In my church, we've fed sometimes several hundreds in the afternoon fellowship meal, but uh, thousands? That's something we never tried. And we had microwave ovens and a lot of hardworking deaconesses. What do you do, though? What if you do if you've, uh, you've just got two or three burritos left in the bottom of a bag from Taco Bell? How many can you feed? Well, here's the, here's the story. Jesus tells his disciples, well, let's, let's us feed them. And the disciples say, well, all we've got is two or three burritos in the bottom of the bag. What do we do? And Jesus says, you give them something to eat. They couldn't envision how it could be that they could feed them. But Jesus, with just those, just those five loaves and the two fish, Jesus was able to multiply that. And in, in when we, as disciples of God, when we do what he wants, he will multiply it and we'll be able to accomplish what is needed. So there is a lesson for us there. When we are doing God's will, He will make our efforts efficient to achieve His kingdom goals. So don't worry if there's just one or two burritos in the bottom of the bag. God can stretch it out and feed everyone. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Father, we often look around at our resources and we say, we don't have enough. We don't have enough offering. We don't have enough people to do the things of the kinds of ministry we want to do. Lord, that's okay. You will multiply what we have. Help us to be faithful and, and seek to do what you would have us to do. Just show us the way. That's all we ask, Lord, is just help us to be faithful. And we know that you will do mighty things and multiply. If we just are faithful, you will take that faith and multiply it to your glory. We, we thank you for this truth in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you as you take what you have, whether it is much or whether it is little, and watch as God multiplies it for the kingdom. God be with you today.